Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Grammy award winning singer songwriter Don McLean made history with his smash hit American Pie. The eight and a half minute song resides in the Library of Congress's National Recording Registry and it was named a top five song of the 20th century by the Recording Industry of America. Well, a new documentary is out now giving the story behind the song and I got to ask Don McLean all about it. This documentary 50 years later, you're finally revealing some secrets about your iconic song. So let me start with that. Why now? Why 50 years later? Are you finally going to reveal all that to us? Well, it's part of this. Uh, I'll tell you, it happened sort of naturally. Um, it's part of this 50th anniversary celebration of the release of the American Pie album. And uh, as you know, the song now is in the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. uh, where I'll probably be someday. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and so it, one thing led to another, and we had a man named Spencer Proffer uh, who wanted to do a documentary. He does documentaries, and he wanted to do a really in-depth documentary about this song and its creation and its aftermath. Uh, the effect that it had. And it really uh, seems to have hit the nail on the head because all of the major newspapers, even the New York Times, uh, likes this documentary. And only really in the context of a documentary where you really have some idea about how long this took and about how I think about things, could I possibly talk about the lyrics in any intelligent way because <laughs> Uh, they're always trying to force me into making it into a board game, which it isn't. So, for example, um, uh, the, the Sacred Store was a, a music store in mm -hmm. New Rochelle called the House of Music, and I talk about that. And then they talk about people asking me about the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. They would say, oh, this is so and so and so. I said, no, it's the Holy Trinity. It's God. It's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's what I meant. Now, and Don, things, the, things like that as we go along. Yeah, and the jumping off point was the the plane crash, right? Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, Big yeah, Bopper. Yeah, that's right. That was it what really affected you. Yeah. It starts with that, and it's very powerful when you realize how young these boys were—22, 17. Wow. You know, just children, really, and uh, to die in a cold cornfield. And I mean, they describe how the plane went straight down, you know, in, into the ground and then pushed along into a, 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 you know, a field fence and just destroyed everybody in it. And uh, even years and years later, folks who uh, had something to do with it get a tear in their eye thinking about, you know, mm -hmm. how mean uh, this, this death was. And, and these boys, you know, were so creative and gave us so much, especially right. Buddy, who, you know, all his music is still so important today. So important. And this song, Don, real quick, I mean, can you believe, it, it, I know you put your heart and soul into it, it's eight and a half minutes long, but the, the life that it's taken on, does that surprise you? Ah, I'm telling you, I mean, I've been surprised my <laughs> whole life. I'm surprised I'm still here. I mean, are you kidding? You know, uh, everything has been a surprise. I never had much... Uh, thought about what my future would always be. I was always looking for the next thing to do, you know, and, it, and, and I just kept went from one thing to the next. So even with the American Pie album, I had all the songs before I had that song. Right. And I, I wanted it to be the closer, you know, everything would flow to that, but it ended up being the opening song in the record. So it threw uh, off my plan for the album, but it was the right thing to do because when you, when you make an album, the first song on there, you have to, you know, grab people. Right. And, but I'm convinced that a song like Vincent would have been a very big hit record if I had never written American Pie because mm. there was a lot of love in those days for slow ballads like, you know, Killing Me Softly and the right. songs that Roberta Flack would sing. So uh, there was a lot of commercial... Yeah. Um, potential on that record, even without American Pie. Well, we are glad you did write American Pie and continue to share it with us. Um, Don, thank you so very much, and congrats on the documentary. Can't wait to see it all unveiled. We, we appreciate you. Thank you very much.
It looks so good. Again, you can watch the new documentary, The Day the Music Died, the story of Don McLean's American Pie, streaming now on Paramount+.